MailChimp versus MailerLite. Now this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you like the basic overview of what you get with both of these tools, the pricing, uh, some of the reviews that people are leading. So if you follow along and you carry on watching this video, then by the end, you should be able to decide uh, which email marketing autoresponder you will use. So uh, both of these email marketing softwares uh, do come up with different things depending on which pricing feature you use. So if we first of all check out pricing, as of course this is arguably the most important thing, uh, let's just make sure these are both in dollars and go to build monthly, just like this. And we can basically see that if we go to, okay, so I should first of all mention that MailerLite actually has a better free trial. Now the reason for this is because on MailChimp, you can actually only get this free trial up to 500 subscribers on your list. And then as soon as you go over that, you actually have to upgrade. Whereas with MailerLite, you can actually go up to 1000 subscribers. So this is double the rate. So you can basically have the free plan for longer on MailerLite. Now what you actually get with this, so on MailChimp, you get pre-built email templates, integrations, reporting and analytics, forms and landing pages, and creative assistance. And all of this is on the on the free plan. Whereas with MailerLite, you get 12,000 monthly emails that you can send, one user, email support, drag and drop editor, website, landing pages, and a few other things. So with MailChimp on this free plan, you do actually get email templates, but with MailerLite, you don't on the free plan. And that is arguably one of my favorite things about MailChimp, uh, sorry, MailerLite, not MailChimp, uh, is the template. So the templates are absolutely fantastic right here on uh, MailerLite. Like you can see, we get some fantastic templates uh, that look very, very professional, especially if you don't have like an email agency hired, or maybe you even are an email agency. You can use these templates and they look very, very professional. So that is the first thing that I would say uh, right there is the fact that you do get a better and more extensive free trial on MailerLite. However, you don't get access to all of the features like you do on MailChimp. Now, I should also mention that look at this. On MailerLite, you get 12,000 monthly email sends on the free plan. But on MailChimp, you get like five times less at 2,500. So that isn't fantastic. So that is the free plan right there. And then what we can do is basically go up here and we move this to 2,500. We can see that this is still cheaper. $17 per month compared to 34, so almost half price for the cheaper plan. And you can see unlimited monthly emails, whereas, Mail uh, whereas MailChimp is actually capped at 25,000. So once again, it's cheaper, you get to send more emails, you get templates, you get unlimited websites and blogs, unsubscribe page builder, uh, sell digital products, whereas on MailChimp right here, you barely get half of this stuff. So MailChimp, I mean, it is going to work, like you are going to get things like these integrations, you are going to get A-B testing, email scheduling, uh, the ability to remove branding and all of that stuff. However, it is just better off to go with MailerLite. So we've discussed already and we've basically figured out that no matter how many subscribers you have, like even if we go all the way up here and let's say you have 30,000 subscribers, you have a stacked list, we can see the Essentials version, $255 a month. Um, it's way cheaper. Even You can actually get the advanced version of MailerLite for cheaper than the basic version of MailChimp at 30,000 contacts. So that is pretty incredible already. To be honest, I don't think you will need this advanced version unless you like do Facebook integration, promotion pop-ups or any of this stuff. But either way, it's cheaper. So we figured out that you actually get more features. It's cheaper. You can send more emails. So it is an absolute no brainer that we will go for MailerLite. Like it just is the best option. And just like to f put the final nail in the coffin and just discuss this, end this once and for all. We can see the reviews of MailerLite right here. 556 reviews and this is 4.7 stars out of 5 which actually means this is one of the best rated email marketing softwares on the market. 82% of these reviews are 5 star and you can basically go ahead and look through these. MailChimp on the other hand and uh, this is not the best <laughs> we can see 1.4 stars out of 5 after 533 reviews. 78% of the reviews are 1 star. 
So, I think, guys, that, th that this video, even though it's been short, like, it's probably, like, a four-minute video, I think this is going to show you, and I'm pretty sure you are going to be confident in the decision, uh, that MailerLite is the better email marketing software. It is not even close, it's cheaper, you get to send more emails, the interface is better, the customer service is better, basically everything about this is better, and that is everything you need to know about MailChimp versus MailerLite. Now, if you learned something from this video or you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button, and until next time guys, take it easy.